Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 11. Um, this is a bit of a continuation from the video log I did about the email I got from Goonhilly Observatory. Now, it was a bit of a revelation to me, just to recap, when someone said that they could see the lunar rover on the surface of the moon. And this person who explained this to me on Facebook um, said he'd been there, seen it on a monitor, uh, and that was his proof we were on a globe. So I contacted the observatory to see if I could do exactly the same thing. And unfortunately, um, they explained in no uncertain terms that you can't see um, the lunar rover from any Earth-based telescope or even from Hubble. And he gave me the maths to explain it. Um, so I had that. Uh, armed with that on NASA Disclosure Day on a different feed to the one I've mentioned in um, my other video, uh, I posed exactly that question. Obviously, I've already got the answer. I know exactly why we can't see it, I've got the mathematical explanation, but I just wanted to sort of put it out there on Facebook to sort of highlight this sort of stuff. So the picture that you've got um, behind me now uh, is, uh, let's have a look, what's it say? A Hubble telescope sees an elegant, elegant spiral hiding in the constellation of Virgo. So it's very, very vast, vast, vast distance away. And that's the, the sort of photo that was on their Facebook page that I feed that I picked to pipe up on. Um, so I'll just read through a few of the comments. Hi, NASA. I contacted an observatory. A friend of mine had, see, uh, had been to a couple of years ago to see this lunar rover on the moon. I contacted them so I could have a look too. Goon Hilly UK said not even Hubble can see the lunar rover. He gave me the mathematical explanation too. Why can we look at things 70 million light years, and then I give the explanation for how far a light year, individual one is, away, and get photos like this, and we can see, at a, look at matter on a subatomic level, but we can never ever see the lunar rover with our own eyes. And then Brian Stoltz, who seems to pipe up like a, a troll a lot of these NASA Facebook feeds, but he's uh, their resident troll. He pipes up and says, LRO, or the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, I think that stands for, imaged all of the landing sites. Go look! And then I reply, but we can never see it with our own eyes. So that was a little section from that. If I go a bit further... Again, in one of my other videos, I mention um, about being too poor. And I think in the other video, I say I need 30 million to go have a look at uh, the lunar surface for myself. Well, it wasn't. Uh, I was a bit conservative. It was actually 30 billion that I would need. Um, but they sort of taunt me by saying, sure, you can have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Actually, I'll read this, uh, this little remark from Peter... Uh, I don't know how to say his name, Ang Angleen. Nathan, do you understand how bright a star and the galaxy is compared to the lunar rover standing on the moon? And we still need a major scope to see such small details in the vast distance. I understand you are ignorant in scopes, but I would recommend what kind of scope we would need to see that small stuff. I would estimate a scope in size may be 50 to 100 metres dime. So you also read about how Hubble deep field works. It's about shutter exposure. And I said earlier, light can go around massive objects and act like a lens enhancing it. The photons will travel until they get absorbed. If you are actually interested, I suggest you start to read science. And then I reply, so I'm either too poor or it's too difficult. Nice. Maybe NASA could fit the bill to send a non-white, non-male to the moon. Maybe showing a little equality for other races and womankind should come before pumping money into getting yet another rover to Mars so we can discover water for the fourth time. If I just scroll back, because we do actually have a comment for going to the moon from um, Albert Coffrin. No problem, Nathan. Do you have about $30 billion? With that, I'm pretty sure NASA will be happy to send you into space to the moon so you can see it for yourself. Transfer the money tomorrow and we can get you started on your trip. Oh, that's good. I'll just check the balance on my bank account. So 
So that was a few more comments from the NASA feed. Anyway, I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you in the next one.